Hey everyone, Brad Walker with Real Broker here and in today's super exciting video we're talking about everybody's favorite subject, taxes, and more specifically Airdrie's property taxes. So if that sounds like a freaking blast to you, if you could scroll down, smash up that like button, I'd absolutely appreciate it. If you could do that, it really helps get this video out to more people who are interested in learning this information. Our last video got almost 100 likes on it and I'd love to pass that number on this one. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. But for now, let's get into Airdrie property tax. Well, as you're probably aware, whenever you buy any property, there's gonna be taxes associated with that property. Now, luckily for us here in Alberta, we don't have any land transfer tax for when you're buying a property, so we don't have to worry about that, but we do still have the yearly property tax for the municipality. So what we're gonna do for this video is we're gonna go through that property taxation timeline here in Airdrie to give you an idea of each step, what's involved, and just the process throughout that taxation timeline. So we're gonna start now at the very beginning of each year. So we're looking at January. The start of the year is when the process starts and it starts with your property assessment. Now when you own property in the city, you're gonna get this every year, either at the end of January or early February, you're gonna get your city assessment in the mail. It's really a general approach by the city. They use a mass appraisal approach when doing these assessments, which gives you a very approximate value for your home. And it can vary quite a lot from your actual current market value. Some factors that they're gonna use when determining these appraisal values is gonna be the location, the size of the lot, the square footage of the home, the year it was built, things like that, but they're gonna do it very generally on your home as they're not looking inside your home specifically like an appraiser or a realtor would do when looking at value. Now once you've received that assessment in the mail in January or February, you've got a 60 day period about till the end of March to get in any complaints or disputes that you have for your assessment. Now if your assessment is lower than you think it should be, do not say anything because that just means you're going to pay less taxes. But if your assessment comes in way higher than you think the value of your house is, that's when you might want to dispute it and get it to be a lower assessed value if you can. So you have until the end of March to do anything with your assessment in that regard. And then the city council takes April and May to determine what the tax rate is gonna be for the upcoming year. Now our current tax rate is about 0.75%. More specifically, it's about 0.749801% for this year, but that's gonna change every year as the city determines the number that it's gonna need to be. So during the months of April and May, the city council is gonna go through all the expenses for the city for the year. They're gonna remove any other revenue that the city gets, such as sales or licensing fees or provincial grants and things like that. And the number that they're left with is the amount that needs to be made up by property taxes in the city. And then they take that number that they're gonna require for revenue and they divide that by the total assessed value of all the property in the city and that's how we get our tax rate for the year. So as an example, and these numbers don't really mean anything, they're just numbers I put in here for ease of math, but if the city needed to make up, say, a million dollars in revenue for the year for their expenses, and the total assessed value of the property in the city came to $125 million, then that would give us a tax rate of 0.8% for the year. Now obviously the numbers are probably way higher than that. I'm just using those numbers for ease of math to give you an idea of how they calculate the tax rate in that April May period. So now that they know the tax rate for the upcoming year, they're going to take the assessed value of your home, multiply it by that tax rate, and then you have your tax bill for the upcoming year. At the end of May each year, the city's going to mail out these tax bills. You're going to get those at end of May, early June, and then those taxes are going to be due by the end of June each year here in Airdrie. Well, and that about completes our timeline for our property taxes. Now you have a few options when it comes to that tax bill. You can pay it in a lump sum each year in June, or you can pay it monthly, either through your lender you might be able to do it, or you can do it directly through the city of Airdrie. And if you do it through the city of Airdrie, they don't charge any upcharge for doing it monthly. They just break it down how they need to, and you pay at the end of each month right from your bank account. 
Well, now we know how we get our tax rate and what that process looks like. You might still have questions about what happens to that money once you've paid it. What does the city do with that? Because it's a pretty substantial amount that you're going to be paying in property taxes each year. So what does that money get used for? Well, let's take a look. Well, 34% of your property tax is going to go towards provincial education. And this number is set by the province. So the municipality doesn't have any control over how much of this goes to the province. But for now, it's 34% that's going to the province and then they collect from all the municipalities and disperse it however they need to across the education system. All right, and next 1% of your property taxes each year is gonna go into the Rocky View Foundation. Now the Rocky View Foundation is a not-for-profit association that provides low rental housing for seniors here in Airdrie. And the remaining 65% is used for expenses here in Airdrie and the breakdown of that 65% looks something like this right now. So 36% of it is going into community growth and protective services like RCMP, fire, things like that. 25% of it is going to administration. 23% is going into community infrastructure like parks and roads. 15% of it is going to community services like the rec center and transit. And the remaining 1% goes to council. All right, well that about completes our breakdown of Airdrie property taxes. If you're still awake and you learned something from this video, scroll down, hit that like button again, and also subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all things Airdrie and Airdrie real estate. And again, my name is Brad Walker with Real Broker, and we'll see you next time.